I don't really know why, but for some reason not a lot of people have messed with the four-wheel drive version of this truck. Um, and there aren't a lot of aftermarket parts for it, so I just have to buy things and then see if they fit. Okay, cut forward to here. I bought this four-inch uh, bearing puller uh, to try to get the transmission apart, and it didn't work. Uh, so I bought another one, and that didn't work. So I ended up buying this kit, and I'm here. Um, I managed to use the bearing press to press this out. Uh, didn't film that. Don't really know why. Possibly because I was nervous about fucking it up. Uh, but yeah, I'm here, so let's get this done. And the camera randomly cuts out. I use this guy a lot more than I should. Happen. I'm not sure that it's going to be good or not. I might be pulling it up. That's what it is. Oh, look at that. Fucking brilliant. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And quite often I'll, I'll just... When it comes to anything other than tools, I normally buy the most expensive one and then just complain if it doesn't work. But with tools, I tend to buy the cheapest ones and then wonder why they don't work. There she is. Bearing's off. Um, now I'm going to need to remember where she goes. Right now, that's done. What can you actually see? Oh, quite a bit. Alright, go like that. You should be able to pull out, and there we have it. Removed it. Now that's one gear set. Those two are joined. See that? Those two are joined. Interesting. I don't think they're attached to the... I wonder if they are. I wonder if those gears are attached to the stick. Well, that's going to suck. I wanted to get them off the stick. I think they might be part of it, which will ruin my plan. Hard to tell though. Nah, they can't be. They can't be part of the stick. They've got to be separate. Okay, that needs to go off to... That needs to go off to part washer. That'll be my first thing to clean in the parts washer tomorrow. Now I can use my trusty dusty four inch puller to get that bearing off that's not it I see these are the sorts of problems I'm having I can't get the teeth to go in underneath can you see that see the teeth won't I can't get the the jaws underneath the bearing so this has actually proved itself to be quite useless. 
even though it was uh, it was uh, twenty three dollars. Can't use it. So there's that. Pull this apart and then reassemble it in a different configuration, I guess. Well, it's a new day here at Garage K, and uh, this is all set up. Got the uh, gearbox piece in here that I'm going to clean um, and I'm about to put some water in it. This requires water-based degreaser um, and I'm only just learning now what the Japanese use as water-based degreaser. Um, but I noticed this. The drain plug is actually a bolt. I'm not sure I want it to be a bolt. I might want a, a wing nut. Although if I do a wing nut then I'm bound to knock it and accidentally open the, um, the tap. So maybe I'll just leave it like that. Yeah, I think I'll leave it like that. So yeah, just got to fill her up now. Okay, I'm going to make this short little video. Um, I thought this was fairly common sense, but it apparently not. Uh, because uh, these things are getting broken and they shouldn't be. And I'm talking about these guys here. The removal of these um, from the underside of a cappuccino center console. I already got two of them off. Um, and then thought about making the video. All I need is one of these and then You just hook underneath it You see this? Yep. Yeah. You hook underneath it and pull up just a little bit and then spin it Get them to spin and it, it'll just basically screw itself off Not using a lot of force Just getting it to turn and there it is, haven't damaged it. This is still in good nick, and that's how that's done. And there she is. Um, I'd call that 99% clean. Not bad, in my opinion. The outside didn't come up that great. Looks pretty good in the video that I'm watching as I'm filming, but it's not that clean. Okay. That's sort of a better shot of what it really looks like. If you zoom out and look at it in the light, then it looks really clean. But if you sort of zoom in, it's not that fantastic on the outside, though the inside is very clean. Uh, and I think that's the most important thing here. Although I probably not even going to use this housing uh, at least not anytime soon because I'm hoping that the gears will fit in there anyway um, next step next up we got a carry transmission now this one I picked up cheap on Yahoo auction so I don't know what the condition of the inside is like but hopefully it won't matter because if I'm lucky, all of that will go in the bin, and I can put my cappuccino gearing in there. Um, so yeah, let's get stuck into that. You always check to see if you can get the filler out before you remove the drain. If you can't get the filler out after you've already removed the drain, then you can't get any uh, oil back in there. So yeah, this one's really quite loose, so that's nice. Picked up this guy too, finally. Finally got one of those. Drain plug remover. I've been using... Um, the uh, just the socket end in the past and it works but it's not very good yep there's no oil in here either, so either I already drained it or it um, didn't have any oil in it when I bought it Hmm, interesting. Maybe that's why it was cheap. Does it actually spin? It moves. Um, one of these should actually be neutral. Is it that one? That one? No. Oh, there we go. We're, um, we have a rotation. So, it does work as a box. Yeah. Alright, well, looks like it works. <laughs>
She's back inside and ready to pull apart. Alright, so the deal is that uh, the service manual in Japanese didn't clearly show how to pull this thing apart. So, um, I don't think I need to get that off. I think I just need to start with these. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Just zip those off, then try and crack it open um, and see how I go. But yeah, as I said, the, the manual didn't clearly state um, how it's to be done, so I can only guess, unfortunately. Tune in next time to see how this turns out. Thanks very much for watching. It's the end of this video. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys. Bye.